And Tallulah, with all due respect to you and Dorothy Parker, it seems to me that a girl with a problem about a man certainly shouldn't go seeking advice from another woman like you, who incidentally has a bit of a problem herself. Well, what would you suggest? Well, in these so-called modern times, there has sprung up in shabby offices along 7th Avenue a profession known as domestic relations counselors. Now, let me show you... <laughs> let me show you how the problem of Sylvie and her boyfriend, Bunny, could have been resolved. Now, our little drama unfolds as Sylvie, played by Ginger Rogers, and Bunny, played by Fred Allen, come to the office of Dr. Hackenbush, Jr., played by Groucho Marx. Dr. Hackenbush's diploma on the wall proclaims that he is a graduate domestic relations counselor with a high degree of P-H-O, N-Y. <laughs> a, a little shabby music, a little shabby music, Meredith, if you please. And uh, your name is Bunny, is that right? That's right, Doctor. I see. And your name, young lady, is Sylvie? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I see. And now, how much of the $20 do you want to bet? <laughs> Excuse me, it was the wrong program. Yes. It was a quiz show they put on opposite. <laughs> oh, relax. I want you to feel right at home. Cigarette, Sylvie? Mm, thanks ever so. Don't mind if I do, Dr. Hackenbush. Carrot? Carrot, Bunny? Thank you. <laughs> What's up, Doc? You didn't chew it long enough, Fred. <laughs> now, uh, what is the problem between you two? Well, Doc, it's like this. It's just awful, simply awful. Every day he used to see me. Every single day, all summer. And then he telephoned me, even if he'd only seen me ten minutes ago. And then, huh, all of a sudden, nothing. Just nothing. <laughs> no phone calls. Nothing. Just nothing. <laughs> Wouldn't have been so bad if the other girl had been miles more attractive than me. But, oh, this girl I seen him with. What's her name? Um, Kitty or something. Kitty Foyle. <laughs> nothing. Just Nothing. <laughs> Well, that's your side of the story. Now, what have you got to say, nothing? Uh, no, uh... What have you got to say, nothing? Well, I, uh... I, uh, uh Doc, well, I, uh... Well, Doc, I, uh... Oh, oh, I see. I thought it was Doc, well, Doc, uh, Doc You Doc. had nothing there for a while. <laughs> no, you, you woke me up, Fred, huh? Now we can do as much for them. A likely story. I've... Would you give me that last line over again? <laughs> Well, I... A likely story. I, uh, I have some advice for you, Bunny. Love is like quicksilver in the palm. And before I give you some advice, I want you to cross my palm with some quicksilver. <laughs> Obviously, Bunny, this girl is not for you. You've been calling her up all the time, and she doesn't want any part of you. No, you got it wrong, Doc. I've been calling him up all the time. Oh, obviously, Bunny, this girl is not for you. She's been calling you up all the time, and she doesn't want any part of you. The thing for you to do is to find another girl. Well, that's more easily said than done, Doctor. Nonsense. I just broke up a happy couple this morning. <laughs> this girl would be delighted to go out with you. Here's her name and phone number. Miss Marion. That's right. Tallulah Marion. <laughs> Call her up, and if a man answers, don't hang up. That's her. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Building it up, eh? That's quite all right. Goodbye. Goodbye, Doc. No, not you. Hmm? No. Hmm? Stick around. Come here, Sylvie. <laughs> yeah? Tell me, what are you doing after the show? <laughs> nothing. Just nothing. <laughs> nothing. Simply nothing. Good. We'd go to dinner, and then a show, and then a nightclub. How's that? Mm -hmm. Fine, Doc. And uh, then what, Sylvie? Nothing. Simply nothing. <laughs> hey, I've come 3,000 miles for nothing. Simply nothing. 